You are listening to a series of 10 podcasts on the United States Congress, presented by Citizen U. Episode 3. Discuss the formal and informal powers of Congress. Explain the significance of the Commerce Clause and the Elastic Clause when assessing congressional power. The powers of Congress are found in Article 1, Section 8 of the U.S. Constitution. Congress declares war, collects taxes, regulates interstate commerce, and establishes courts. Broadly speaking, Congress makes laws, conducts oversight of the entire government, and provides for constituent service. If the President has the power of the sword, the Congress has the power of the purse. The greatest power the Congress can wield is their control over the federal budget. It is the informal powers of Congress, however, that increasingly express its 21st century authority. More and more of Congress's work is legitimized by the Commerce Clause and the Necessary and Proper Clause. These two constitutional provisions allow Congress to go beyond the letter of the law. The Constitution's enumerated power to regulate all interstate commerce has been used to expand the size and scope of the federal government. Congress uses this provision more than any other to justify its regulatory prerogative. In a recent court argument, a justice asked if there were any limits to what could be regulated under the Commerce Clause. Before the attorney could answer, another justice quipped, Don't give anything away here. They may want to do it next. Conservatives in recent years have tried to rein in the use of the Commerce Clause. With little success, the Commerce Clause continues to be at the epicenter of political debate over the role played by our government in our lives. There is a reason the Necessary necessary and Proper Clause has been dubbed the Elastic Clause. The constitutional provision has allowed the Congress and subsequently the government of the United States to expand far beyond what the Founders had envisioned. In all fairness, however, the Founders never could have imagined what our world would be like today. It was for this reason they wrote into law a provision that would allow the Constitution to be a living letter. Some argue it lives too gregariously. It is necessary and proper for we the people to decide whether or not the Congress abuses its authority. You are listening to a series of 10 podcasts on the United States Congress. Presented by Citizen You.